my fear is, Mary, that that we have so many who are seeing this as uh, as an attempt to control people that uh, all of this great research may get pushed to the side because y you may have bean counters in D.C. deciding, well, we, we don't need to hear about good research. We don't need to hear any more good information. We now have a, a Department of Health, you know, that's going to handle all this. That, that's my fear. Yeah, and I think we need to build awareness. I mean, had our results come through a year ago when all of this was being discussed, we probably would have a little more say in what's going on or a little more input or be uh, somewhere involved with the, with the um, current debate. Yeah. But yeah. we are starting to make some inroad to congressmen and senators and, and just to make a determination of where would a technological solution fit in? Right. I mean, if you have, I know uh, President Obama was hoping for a 1% shift, and if you've got a potential of a 16% shift, uh, that deserves to get tested. Absolutely. But I don't profess to know the inner workings and is, of what's going on in, in, in D.C. I mean, I wish I did, and I wish I knew exactly strategically who to ring up and say, look, we may have something that is so significant and has been beaten up. And I should say that some of the people that have been with us for over 10 years, like one man um, helped deploy Medicare for President Johnson and has been serving with every other president. So mm -hmm. we've got some real luminaries who sat back about 15 years ago and said, is there a way that information can get us out of this mess? Right. I mean, the only reason we're talking about it now is such a painful point with the GDP yep. um, at, you know, almost at 18 percent. I mean, those people were arguing a decade ago that if GDP gets close to 20, our country sort of busts apart. Mm -hmm. So I think um, the burden of health care on families, the burden of health care on our government and on, I mean, where we are in California or General Motors, I mean, health care has got to a breaking point. But the people we've had all along the way mm -hmm. always were saying, we're going to need to find a way to solve this. Our assumption was that information was going to be key because you could see the trend lines and you knew that the amount of decisions that were going to be needed, needing to be made was going to exponentially grow. Right. Well, I'll tell you so, what, what we'll do, Mary, uh, if you don't mind. I'd love to, to send my listeners to your website, let them read a little bit more about what you're doing, and then and then let them kick it into action and contact uh, congressmen and senators and see if we can't get uh, a that little, would be wonderful. little attention paid. What's the best place for them to look? The best place would just be on the MedExpert website, which is www.medexpert.com. Okay. I'll tell you what, Mary, we're going to put a link up on our page. We'll encourage people to do it, and uh, hopefully we'll have a chance to check back in and talk about some more great work. And I appreciate your time. Oh, thank you, Mary. Thank you so much. Mary Hiller from an expert. Uh, I'm telling you, a 16% cost savings in health care, not done by the government, done by the dreaded private sector. Will anybody in D.C. pay attention? That's going to be up to you. Jeff Katz, AM. 850 WFTL.